Please step forward and look into the camera. What is up, Blasters? Come on in. Welcome back to my channel. This is Blasting Off with X. I am your boy, Xavier. Thank you guys for joining me here for another video, as always. Before we jump into things you already know the routine, go ahead and thumbs up this video, as well as subscribe to my channel. Guys, strap your seatbelts in and grab your popcorns, your wig, whatever you have to do, and let's talk. Okay, so the queen, Beyonce, yes, she is dropping the album, finally. So, Beyonce being the inconsiderate queen that she is, you know, I mean, she's not inconsiderate to me because when she dropped the news, I was in my bed in my slumber. But the people that was on the West Coast and the people that stays up with the Coyotes on the East Coast in between, they were in a frenzy. And, uh, you know, like any other morning, I check Twitter and I seen Beyonce's name and I refreshed my timeline and there was everybody in their grandma and their auntie their cousin their daddy like everybody was going crazy and I was just like what what is happening what is happening and all I seen was renaissance and how I knew it was legit because I seen like all the news outlets and like you know the Beyonce led legion and like all these different pages like they had the links up there I was like oh my gosh she dropped the album but when I looked to the website or whatnot, it said July 29th. So I was like, okay, Beyonce is indeed considerate after all because she's given us time to collect those coins. She's like, look, normally I surprise y'all, but this time I'm gonna do things a little different. I'm gonna give y'all a month's notice to get your funds together. The crazy thing about it, guys, I remember back in August of last year when Beyonce did that photo shoot in the magazine interview with Bazaar, she referenced Renaissance, the album. I remember in the interview, they were saying, um, okay, we waited long enough to ask, can we expect new music? So, you know, Beyonce said a handful of stuff, but there was this one thing that stood out. She said, I feel a renaissance emerging and I want to be part of nurturing that escape in any way possible. Ma'am! That's the thing about Beyonce, she always drops clues. And the thing about it, Beehive, we won. We won because at the end of the day, the news outlets and people on social media and stuff like that, they try to clown us so that we were reaching when you're a Beyonce fan. You had to take everything with a grain of salt because this heifer will drop clues here and there. And then when you go a little bit down the line, you'll be like, oh. That's why she was out there smelling them lemonades because this heifer was going to drop an album named Lemonade. Beyonce have these boxes that, you know, went on sale today. So there's like literally a pose one, pose two, pose three, and pose four. So let's see what we get in the boxes. So, um, each pose contained the Renaissance CD, a four-panel soft pack, 28-page photo booklet, includes a collectible mini poster, and of course, it's limited to, uh, four units per person. Um, cover art and tea design will be unveiled at a later date. Y'all, now, you know we are some diehard friends that we go and buy the boxes, and we don't even know how it looks. We don't know what's inside of it. We don't know how it looks. Even though it gave us this description, we were just like, okay, take our $40. We don't care. Just give us. We know it's you, Beyonce. Give us whatever it is. And we, me personally, I chose Pose Box 3. I know a lot of people chose Pose Box 4 because 4 is Beyonce's favorite, you know, um, number. And I was like, I don't see too many people with Pose Box 3. And I was like, justice for Pose Box 3. And not only that, my birthday is on the third day. So I was like, I'm getting Pose Box 3. And that's the end of the story. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, y'all, not even that, we kind of got like an inside scoop of what Renaissance is bringing to the table. So, in the British Vogue piece, there was a section that says, it'll make you want to dance. So, the writer, I guess, was talking to a journalist or whatnot, and basically the writer was re-encountering what it was like when Beyonce offered to play him the music him or her i do apologize so beyonce opened up the laptop and like press play like with you know i guess a track or whatnot off of renaissance so basically the journalist was saying instantly a wall of sound hits me that i guess that's what the writer was saying to the journalist and they finished in end quote soaring vocals and fierce beats combined and in a split second i'm t transported back to the clubs of my youth 
I want to get up and start throwing moves. It's music I love to my core. Music that makes you rise, that turns your mind to cultures and subcultures to our people past and present. Music that will unite so many on the dance floor. Music that touches your soul. Beyonce is coming with the funk. She is coming with the disco. I don't know, but if it's uniting everybody, oh, we both. <laughs> Drew, I need to hurry up. Like, I, I wanted this since yesterday. Like, yeah. Beyonce, how could you? I'm glad you did, but how could you? Alrighty, guys, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your views. Thank you so much for joining me here for another video, as always. Before we leave, go ahead and thumbs up this video as well as subscribe to my channel. As always, this is your boy Xavier signing out.